thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. I think Cypher is sort of a great event. Um, it's just a great opportunity for uh, all professionals to come together. Uh, I think the talk was focused on helping all of us understand how do we help analytics become actionable and where is AI coming together in actually driving this and making it a lot more possible in terms of how we drive actions and how we make things implementable in terms of delivering business outcomes. So we spoke a lot about how that can be done. Uh, the approach of um, uh, transforming from data to information, information to insights, and insights to impact was one key theme uh, for, the, for the participants to sort of uh, look at in terms of their journey, in terms of delivering outcomes. Uh, the second was, was to step back and not, not get too, too lost in, in the whole sort of uh, dynamics around AI, machine learning, etc. But to be able to step back and say, what is this all for? What's the purpose? How do we, how do we strategize, operationalize, and sustain uh, some of these initiatives to make sure that they become uh, value creative uh, for, for the businesses? Um, so we, we are a fairly young company, about six years in our journey. Um, I think doing fairly well so far. Um, but I think the way we look at it, uh, we, we see an immense opportunity in terms of how decision makers can have access to insights on tap. Uh, so, so with our AI labs um, and machine learning group um, and our product teams, uh, we are building technology accelerators that decision makers can consume on tap and give them access to insights in a fairly rapid manner. Uh, so from that perspective, I think the whole sort of uh, world around recommendations is a big space and we, we now have a lot of interest with customers uh, in that solution. Uh, we also do, uh, made some good progress around customer experience and our extract solution um, is, 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 is helping uh, businesses, customer focused businesses, understand customer experiences and intervene fairly effectively in real time. So I think a lot more focus in saying how do we go, how do we go and take analytics a lot more towards consumption, adoption, in a fairly invisible and pervasive manner is where we're focusing a lot. So, so in the customer space, as you can imagine, um, one can sort of break that into three sort of broad um, phases. Uh, one is the phase around acquiring customers and how do we sort of um, do that effectively and efficiently. Um, second is the whole realm of how do we do more with existing customers? Uh, how can we grow? How do we retain them? How do we build value over time? And third is around customer experience. Um, and I think in those three areas, uh, we've, we've, we've got solutions that can help um, businesses optimize their digital marketing spend, understand intent, understand which customers are looking for solutions, and be able to nurture them fairly effectively. Uh, we've also got a solution around uh, the whole um, the ability to grow customers, existing install base of customers, uh, the ability to understand their latent needs as to what are they looking for, and instead of just, just throwing products at them or bombarding them with marketing campaigns, our solution allows businesses to be fairly precise in terms of who should they reach out, what should be the proposition. Um, and then on the, on the whole experience side, obviously, the extract solution uh, is, 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 is fairly interesting. Any tools that have immense potential uh, can play out both ways. Um, um, and, 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 and likewise, I think AI brings up opportunities for both use and abuse. Um, and, and abuse could, could lead to fairly uh, grave um, risks and impact uh, to citizens and, and consumers in general. But I think, um, I don't know if there's a need for a policy around it. I think some kind of ethics and guidelines um, should be fairly okay. Um, and I think there are going to be self-governing mechanisms within the industry as well to make sure. But I think nobody's going to gain um, through, uh, through some of those outcomes if they happen. Um, and hence, I think there will be enough governance that's sort of inbuilt within, uh, within the dynamics of players that we have today to make sure that doesn't go down that direction. No, so, so you're absolutely right. There have been, um, there have been enough challenges. But I think I must say, there hasn't been a moment since the day we started when I would have wondered, why am I doing all this? 
so I think while there will be enough challenges and, and challenges do not fade away, um, I think um, there is enough excitement in terms of what one is trying to build and trying to build it with the team and trying to build this um, um, in the ecosystem that we are in and the opportunity it, it sort of brings for all of us. So I think from that perspective, I think it's always, I mean luckily, uh, been a very exciting journey. Um, from a challenges perspective, I mean given we have been around in the industry for about 18, 19 years now, um, it's it's not so much been about influencing customers and why analytics. Um, more so now, more so we've sort of spent several years doing this on both sides of the table. But I think what's what's been interesting is to be able to continue to keep up to speed at the pace in the pace of evolution that's happening in our industry, and be able to bring the whole team along in that journey. A lot of what I'm doing today, I wasn't trained for, and and I never did this in my first 10, 15 years of my career. Um, and what I what I did about two years back is no longer relevant. So I think the the ability to continue to keep yourself up to speed in terms of what's happening, be able to make that happen. Uh, for the entire team. So we built our own internal ecosystem uh, for, for learning, for capability development and expertise and we call it the scale up program. Uh, and I think that, the, that, that quest towards how do you continue to do that has really been the, the, the challenging part. A great event, I mean, uh, no Vasco personally, um, for, for a couple of years now, and I think uh, this is the third year. This is yes. Um, and it's and it's and it, I, it, there's no doubt about it. It's it's one of the most premier events um, in terms of um, bringing together like-minded professionals. I think uh, from an analytics community, great place to meet a lot of people who you you don't get the chance to sort of interact, get to know. People are very really op very open, uh, and I think this is a very uh, very genuine open want to share and I think that's an immense opportunity. So, so great event, I really love it. Uh, thanks for putting it together.